Hi, today I'm going to make pan seared salmon. It's perfect for keto or carnivore. Hi, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I make keto and carnivore recipes and share cooking ideas. If you're new here, I hope you'll hit subscribe and check out some of my other videos. So I've got a couple of salmon fillets here. This is wild pink salmon. I bought it frozen from Costco. These come about six or eight to a bag, individually frozen uh, in a vacuum sealed bag. So I have defrosted them and pat, I'm, I've been patting them dry. Uh, you want them to be very dry before you start. I think that uh, pan fried salmon especially with the skin on you make it nice and crispy it's one of my favorite ways to make uh, fried salmon it's fast easy it's delicious perfect for keto and carnivore and everybody who's i guess everybody except vegetarians <laughs> it's perfect for so so these two are nice and dry i'm going to cut them up into how i want them i'm going to cut off the the tail pieces because I will cook those later and use them for something else. I've got, I've got another video planned where I'm going to make something with all my leftover salmon. Okay, so I'm going to cut the, the end pieces off. I do prefer getting salmon that has the skin on, um, but if you want, you can certainly buy it without the skin. It just adds a nice crispiness to the dish. Um, and I thought it was really cool when I was at Costco last night, I, they were, I've never seen this before, but they had bags of fish skins, crispy fish skins in the snack section. And I got really excited until I read the label and uh, there's all kinds of crap in there. So this is better. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut this into three pieces. So yeah, so that's about the size that I want. And I'll do the same with this one. Okay, I'm going to put these in the fridge with my other ones. I'll cook them later. So I'm going to do two different ways and this will be almost like kind of a little side-by-side -side test. Um, I usually just salt and pepper them, fry them, and that's it. Uh, but I was watching a YouTube video the other night. I saw Gordon Ramsay, how he scores his, and he says it makes it crispier. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just try that. So we'll do, I'll do a couple his way and the rest the way I normally do. And we'll see what that's like. So what he does is he just takes the knife and he scores not all the way through, just through the skin into kind of these thin strips like so so it kind of looks like that I could probably go a little deeper on that one there so I'll do I'll do one more like that and we'll see what we end up with and who knows maybe I'll like Gordon Ramsay's way better than my way Whoops. Okay, you don't want to do that. <laughs> I ruined that one. I cut too far. These will be two small ones. So then I get a little bit of salt and pepper, usually what I do. The, uh, the only difference is I'm now using white pepper instead of black pepper because I react to the black pepper, um, but not the white pepper for whatever reason. So what I have in here is I have two tablespoons of, of kosher salt to two teaspoons of white pepper and I've mixed it up and so I'm just going to, whoops, spill a little bit. I'm going to try and get, uh, I saw Gordon Ramsay put it down in the cracks here so I'm going to try and get it in there. Okay, so these are ready to be cooked and uh, now I need to take them over to the stove and we're going to cook them in butter. So, the, so for cooking, what you need is a flexible spatula and 
this is the only one that I have that that's flexible. Normally, if you were doing it properly, you'd use a what they call a fish turner and it's slightly longer and it has maybe you have one it has slits in the side and it just it helps it, it, to get that bend but this one has a pretty good bend you could also even use this this has a bend or you can even use your hands so you'll kind of see what I'm talking about when we cook the, the salmon fillets Okay, so the other thing you want is a nice heavy pan. This is my favorite pan for cooking uh, fish. It's, it's got a flat bottom, it's really heavy, it's stainless steel. You can use a cast iron pan as well. Um, but probably if you have a pan that's kind of light and flimsy or bent, um, it might not work as well. So uh, yeah, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to heat the pan up first kind of on a medium, between medium and high. And then I'll be turning it down once I start to put the fish in there. I'm using two tablespoons of butter. Okay, we want that. I'm gonna start turning that down because I don't want the butter to burn. And I'm going to place the fillets in skin side down, one at a time. And you want to give it a little push with a flexible spatula or your hands. And the reason you want to do that is so that the skin doesn't curl up. Now, Gordon Ramsay's method apparently prevents that. So and that's why he does that little slicing. So we're testing that out. Don't know if I'm going to fit all of these in here. It's a good thing I have these skinny pieces that I cut through. So you're cooking. These are fairly thin. Um, I'm, I think this might be two to three minutes at most on this side here, to, on the skin side. And I'm going to set that for two minutes just to, just to test that. Once you put them in the pan, resist the temptation to move them. You just want them to stay where they are and cook for the full time two minutes, three minutes, depending on the thickness. Last weekend, I had um, a bag of really thick ones. They were double that or more. And uh, so they needed five minutes. So if you can see, um, they are start, like when they're starting to cook, you can actually see the color changing. And that's what you're looking for. Uh, most of the cooking is go going to be like this. And then once they are more or less almost done, then we flip them over. Oh, and while I'm waiting to flip them over, I'm going to add a little more salt and pepper on top. Okay, I'm going to start flipping them. Okay, that one kind of buckled a bit, the skin. These are the things you worry about if you were you know, having to serve to company or you work in a restaurant or something. This is for personal consumption. <laughs> but I was interested in trying his method. And, well, it looks pretty good. I can see the, uh, the theory behind what he's saying. Whoops. Get my help 
to have another spatula sometimes to flip it over. Okay. So these will only be a minute. Now some people like them thoroughly cooked. Some people like them medium rare. So this is to your personal taste. If you, uh, you could use a meat thermometer and um, find out what the, you know, well done for fish is or medium rare for fish. Um, I kind of like it to just be slightly undercooked. But then I like sushi, so. Okay, I'm going to call them done and let's put them on the plate and see how we made out. All right. Okay, so here we are. We have a few different pieces here. Um, I mean, I can see the logic behind this method of scoring the skin. Uh, it's more intact, although this one looks pretty good, but it's more intact than mine. Um, I'm gonna try this one. It looks nice and crispy. So let's see what we have here. Nice and flaky. Mm. Super moist. I'm going to try a piece of the skin. Oh man, that is good. This is really good. If you if you don't think you like the skin, you should just try it once and make sure it's really crispy. Um, because mm, it's so good. Okay, so I've tried that one. Uh, I just want to try one of Gordon Ramsay's style. Mm -hmm. They're both, I mean, taste-wise, they're both the same because they're the same fish, the same seasoning. Um, but I do see that um, the skin on his just looks a little more intact. It looks a little bit fancy if you're cooking for some guests or something. I mean, this is why he gets the big bucks and, uh, and I'm here cooking on YouTube. Although he is too, so there you go. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> I hope you will give this a try and I, I hope that I've shown you how easy it is to get a delicious restaurant quality piece of salmon very tasty. There you go. Hi, I'm in. What's that called over there? <laughs>